Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. In today's video, we'll be talking about the skincare that I've absolutely been flying through this winter. I My skin has just been super, super dry. And if I go through a product as quickly as I've gone through these specific products, you know it's a favorite because I have a lot of skincare in my collection. I'm definitely a skincare junkie, but these products I just can't get enough of this winter. They've really just been saving my dry skin, really helping me to plump out my skin, to rehydrate. So I'm very excited to share these with you today. I was going to wait to share these products with you in an empties video, but I don't know. I figured it'd be more fun to just do a whole routine. It's been a while since I've done a skincare routine. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll go in the sequence of how I do my skincare routine. So first up, let's talk about cleansing balms. I have just been loving these. I really didn't start using balms until this year. I fell in love with the Pixie Double Cleanse at the beginning of the year. The second part of the year, I've been reaching for this one by Hemish. This is a Korean skincare brand. And I'm almost halfway done this, and I've really been digging into this the last maybe month or so. But this is just so moisturizing. It's it's such like an emollient feel on the skin but the best part about this it rinses off so cleanly like it doesn't leave that thick film on your skin it just leaves your skin feeling hydrated and plump and moisturized which I love my skin has been loving this I really have that smoothed feel after I rinse this off never that tight like oh my gosh my skin probably looks like a raisin right now it never feels like that just clean and refreshed which I just love this feeling it actually makes me feel like I don't need a second cleanse after this which I know you really should wash this off actually one of you guys pointed that out to me in my last skincare video I've been trying to be better with it but really if you look into the ingredient list there's no surfactants in here and it's advertised as a one cleanse type of balm you don't need a second cleanse with this but it does have essential oils in here so you really don't want those lingering around now I will say this does rinse off cleanly, so I really feel like I'm getting off all those fragrant aromas from my face, but just be aware if you have sensitive skin, some of those may hang around, so you might want to avoid this. It doesn't really have a strong fragrant smell to it. Kind of like a light citrusy smell. It's not too intense. I'm okay with a cleanser with a fragrance in it because you are essentially just rinsing it off. I would love to see them release a fragrance-free balm because this formula is just to die for. It's so great. It's popular for a reason. If you look at this on Yes Style, this has thousands of reviews. Definitely worth the price. I think it's in the I'm gonna say it's like $15. I, I love that balm so much. But on the days where I just want a light cleanse or if I feel like I need a double cleanse after the all clean balm, I've been reaching for the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser and I've been flying through this. It's just so good. It feels so rich and creamy on the skin. If you have dry skin, this will be your best friend. I have been loving this so much. This is so rich and luxurious feeling on the skin. Honestly, this could be packaged in some fancy bottle and be sitting on the shelves of Lord & Taylor because it really does feel like a super fancy cleanser, but it's six bucks. You cannot beat the Ordinary's prices. And this has just been saving my dry skin. It's not stripping. If anything, it's extra nourishing to the skin. Squalene is actually a skin identical ingredient. It's what gives your skin the bounce to it. So it really just plumps up your skin and makes it feel hydrated. And oh, I just, I love this stuff so much. It's definitely not going to get off makeup. I definitely need a second cleanse if I'm using that or if, it, if it's a no makeup day, I'll just reach for that. But yeah, it's not the most, like I said, it's not a stripping cleanser so it really doesn't do a good job of breaking down makeup so just be aware of that but if you want a super hydrating cleanser that's amazing just so nourishing on the skin I just love it and then these two serums I've been using like crazy if your skin is craving a just an extra hydrating serum but maybe even if you have oily skin I feel like these would work because they're not super heavy and greasy they're just great with plumping up the skin and just adding that extra just replenishment to the skin, extra moisture and hydration. These are just, oh, my favorites. But the first one is this one by iUnique, is another Korean skincare brand. This is their Beta Glucan Power Serum. So the ingredient list on this is very minimal and the main ingredient is this Beta Glucan. So we all know Beta Glucan, it's actually, you know, it's found in our Cheerios. It's actually part of the cell wall in yeast, interesting enough. It's good for our cholesterol. There's been a lot of studies to show that it helps lower cholesterol. But here, here we find out that it's good for our skin as well. I feel like Korean skincare research is so far ahead. American skincare, it seems like anyway. I, I don't know. That could just, maybe that's not a thing. But this really does, something about this is so soothing to the skin. And there is data out there to say that this does have anti-inflammatory properties. It helps to repair the skin's barrier. And this is, it's just such a savior for my skin. Even like smoothing out my skin, 
I've been loving this so much. It has a very thin texture to it. It's very similar to the Cosr X. The Cosr X is a little thicker. This is maybe just slightly thinner, but it has almost that like, I don't want to say mucusy, like the snail mucin, but it almost has that stringy texture, but it doesn't sit on top of the skin. It really just is sucked into your skin and it really helps to plump out your skin and just give that extra moisture. My skin has been flaring up so bad recently. I think it's a result of I'm starting to wean my daughter from breastfeeding she's let's see she's nine months old now and she's kind of weaning herself this week she's been skipping a few feedings here and there and I've been replacing them with a bottle and my hormones have just been going crazy I've been having these skin hives all over from my wrist up to my neck I don't even know if you'll be able to tell on camera right now but I'm probably super red on my chest right now I've been itching like crazy if any of you guys have experienced this in pregnancy or postpartum let me know it's just it drives me nuts. It feels like my skin is crawling out of my body. But I've been trying to reach for things that are just calming and soothing on the skin. And that, the beta glucan serum, has been a savior. And then also this snail mucin has been amazing. This is another, essentially, an ingredient to help repair the skin as well. Snail mucin has natural peptides in it. So it can help, also to help plump out the skin, give the skin its elasticity. But this can also be really soothing on the skin. But this has been the one product I reach for if my skin has just been craving moisture. I know this isn't going to ever break me out or be pore clogging or anything like that. It feels so lightweight but so hydrating at the same time. It's such an amazing product. Cosrx is available at Ulta now, which is awesome. But ugh, it's been a savior. Just hydrating and smoothing on the skin. I, no fail, I always wake up with smooth skin after using that. And I just have that like, I don't know, that cushiony feel on the skin. It's such a great product love it and then another product I've been going through so quickly is another one by the ordinary this is the azelaic acid suspension the 10% suspension azelaic acid is great for brightening up the skin it can help with depigmenting the skin and to help brighten up melasma areas and I've been loving this for my chest I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my chest and I really noticed lightening in my skin and it's that one lightener product that hasn't I don't know I don't really feel like I have to pack something on top of it to seal in the hydration and the active ingredient because the active ingredient the azelaic acid is actually in a lotion like suspension which is really cool so you don't need to seal it in with a moisturizer this essentially acts as your moisturizer now this can be slightly irritating I do feel a slight sting when I use this even I even get some redness so just be aware of that I haven't been reaching for this in the last week or two ever since I've been having this crazy skin issue oh, yeah let me know if you guys have ever experienced that during pregnancy and after pregnancy I know with my first daughter they put me on a steroid and it did help but then it came right back so I've been starting I taking like a once a day Zyrtec just to see if that's been helping and it has been helping slightly but I think I don't know it I think it's just a hormonal thing that hopefully will go away when I stop breastfeeding so we will see about that but if you do if you have some melasma spots and if you want something for lightening them that is a great option and it does because it's in that lotion like suspension it almost gives a smoothing effect to the skin I'm definitely getting a little bit more creepy in my cleavage area down here and it just I don't know it has a smoothing effect to the skin it's probably just the hydrating factor in that but I do notice some lightning so I've been loving that okay and then next up I'm kind of cheating with this because I still have a lot of products with this left because this is this is an eye cream and look how huge this tube is this is the benton fermentation eye cream and i have been loving this i've been using this sometimes in the morning mostly at night but this is such a huge tube I, it's going to take me forever to get through this great price on this and it has awesome ingredients so the first ingredient in this is a galactomyces galactomyces is in the popular sk2 brand so it's obtained by this fermentation process and it's rich in vitamins amino acids minerals and organic acids there's a lot of studies on it and like I said it was made popular by the SK2 brand but it's popping up in a ton of Korean skincare and it's supposed to have these reparative skin benefits it's supposed to help with anti-aging and fine lines and it really does if anything just kind of like help the little crevices underneath your eyes just smooth out and make your under eye nice and smooth for concealer but it has a great texture to it it's really nice and thick and buttery and you really don't need a lot so <laughs> I'm not really flying through this because it's such a big tube, but it's, it's such a great product. And oh, it also has oligopeptide in here. Peptides can actually help with boosting the collagen in your skin. There's not too many definitive studies on that, but 
I mean, there are some promising things out there, and we know collagen helps with the bounciness in our skin and the plumpness, so that's really exciting. There's ceramides in here. Ceramides help to re restore your skin's barrier. Oh, so many great things in this stuff, and the price, you cannot beat it. They even have a travel size available for five or six dollars, so if you want to try it out, pick that up. Like, I mean, I haven't ever seen an eye cream on the market with such great ingredients for such a great price. Korean skincare is so underrated. I feel like this year it's really gonna make its bang in the skincare industry. I feel like it was coming through the last couple of years, but people are really starting to discover its amazing ingredients and just the simplified ingredient list. There are There's nothing like these products, and if you do see them in the States, they're way overpriced. I'm starting to, I'll talk about some skincare in a little bit that I got from Sephora that I love, but yeah, I'm starting to second guess my Sephora skincare purchases. Like I said, every so often there's a gem, but a lot of it is just overpriced crap. <laughs> While we're on that subject, let's talk about this moisturizer from Sephora, which I do not think is overpriced crap. This is actually, this has a good price tag on it. It's in a 30 something dollar range. I think it's $39. And immediately when I saw this ingredient list, I knew I had to have it. And then I saw some reviews coming out. People were saying how great it was for dry skin. It was really thick and rich. I'm like, yes, that's me, that's me written all over it. And I've probably been digging into this for the last month and you can see I'm almost at the bottom. It is just such an amazing cream. So thick and occlusive. It has, squalene is one of the main ingredients in here. So you're gonna get that elasticity from this, that skin bounciness, the plumpness. It's so great. If you've been looking for a moisturizer to help seal in all your serums, this one is fantastic because it has a ton of great oils in here. This also has squalene in here. There's shea butter. There's, oh my gosh, what else is in here? There's grapeseed oil, argan oil, watermelon seed oil. So many great nice emollient oils to help nourish the skin. And this is a fragrance-free moisturizer, yay for that. But I did get a question on whether or not this does have fragrant components in here because it does have the watermelon seed oil in here, also the fig extract. That question was on my fragrance-free video, the skincare video I posted two videos back. And I wanted to read you guys a DM from InkyDecoder.com. I wrote to them because they're, they're where I get all my in ingredient information. They have great research-backed, non-biased ingredient info. I, they're awesome. They're a great skincare resource. They have this moisturizer listed as fragrance free, essential oil free, but I asked about all these other components. I wanted to read you guys their response because this can be a confusing topic. So they said, well, it's a complicated topic, but those ingredients are not fragrant ingredients. Watermelon oil is fixed and not volatile. Rosemary extract may contain a tiny bit of volatile compounds, but if the product is in the EU and no separate allergens are listed, it counts as fragrance free. Even Clinique often uses it. So I think our fragrance-free tag is correct in this case, but it is a complicated topic. There are edge cases, and we plan to put up some more explanation on this soon. So I don't know if that helps to clarify it, but just know that every extract or antioxidant listed, it doesn't mean it's a fragrant component. Not all plant or botanical ingredients are aromatic. They don't all, they're not all scented. Again, in any extract could be an allergen to any single person. Just keep that in mind. Doesn't mean you're not gonna have an allergy from this, but just know that there's no aromatic components in here. So hopefully that clears that up for you guys. It's such an awesome moisturizer. I feel like everybody's raving about it for good reason. I was very tempted to buy their cleanser that just came out. It looks like a nice creamy hydrating cleanser, but I just purchased the Create Beauty cleanser, the matcha cleanser, which has been amazing. I want to compile my full thoughts because I did just start using it. So I'll I might even include that in my favorites video because it's already becoming a quick favorite. But yeah, I just feel like I need to relax with my skincare purchases for a little bit anyway. So yeah, I love that moisturizer. Another one I've been loving is this one by Verst. This is so great. This was also in, oh gosh, what's her last name? Is it Susan Yang? She does, um, she has the channel Mixed Makeup. She also included this in her skincare favorites of the year video. She gives awesome skincare advice. But Another one that people are raving about for good reason, this is amazing. This is their Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. This has such a nice texture to it. First of all, the ingredients are great, fragrance-free, they're squalene, also red algae extract. Algae pops up in so many different skincare products. It's even in, you know, these expensive skincare products like La Mer because algae is a great plumping ingredient. It acts as a humectant. It's really great for smoothing out the skin, but it's this moisturizer is Probably is it better than the milk? I feel like I do reach for this more because this is something I can layer underneath my skin 
not my skincare, my makeup. This is super thick. And while it does, it does, you need some time for it to absorb into your skin. It's not very quick absorbing. This one is very fast absorbing, but still super hydrating. This leaves such a pretty dew to your skin and you just feel like your skin, it's the perfect thing for this, the Skin Soak Moisturizer, because it really is like soaking your skin in moisture. It gives such a, a nice layer of hydration into the skin. Instant plumping is great. I love it for a daytime moisturizer. Like I said, I've been flying through this. I'm almost done. It's amazing. This reminds me a lot of Drunk Elephant's Protini Cream as far as the texture goes, but the Protini Cream is a little lighter. You're gonna get some more moisture from this. The Milk Moisturizer is definitely heavier, more occlusive. This is on the lighter side, but enough if you have dry skin. I get plenty of moisture from this. I love it so much. It's so hydrating. Love this. Okay, and then we'll end with a sunscreen. This is by Supergoop. This is their Unseen Sunscreen in an SPF of 40. This is such an awesome texture, especially if you have dry skin. It almost has that thick silicone-y feel, almost like the Smashbox. Is it not the primerizer? That's the thin one. Oh gosh, the photo finish one. It has that like smoothing effect, that velvety feel. This has that same feel, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It leaves your skin just soft and I don't know, moisturized and it has that silky feel to it. And what I love about this is that it sits so well underneath makeup. Because it has that silicone-y feel to it, it gives a smoothing effect over your pores, even fine lines, it doesn't settle. Well, it's kind of hard to know if it settles because it's clear, which is actually another awesome component about it, which I love so much. You never have to worry about a white cast because of that, obviously. And yeah, I just love that it sits underneath makeup so well. Be careful if you have sensitive skin because this is a chemical sunscreen, but I love it. I never have that stinging feel that I get from a lot of chemical sunscreens. Really thick and heavy, but not that like smothering feel that a lot of sunscreens can give. Awesome if you have dry skin. It, this is another one that really seals in the moisture. It's a great ending to your skincare because it really works with a lot of different products, seals everything in, and again, like I said, it does have that smoothing capability. Love this stuff, such a great sunscreen. And yeah, so that is it. That is the products I've been flying through. Oh wait, wait, one more. I wanted to end with this one. Oh, this one's good too. Not really a skincare product, but it does have, you know, skincare ingredients in here. There's glycol and there's these humectants in here and nice hydrating factors. But this is by Cosrx, Cosrx, oh my gosh. Cover FX. <laughs> this is their Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I have Korean skincare on the brain, oh my gosh. These sprays are awesome because they're really hydrating, but it has such a thin spray. It doesn't melt off your makeup. So throughout the day, if I need a refresher, I've been using this, but oh my gosh. It leaves such a pretty dew to the skin, but it doesn't give your face that like super wet look, just a nice healthy glow. But can you tell? Your skin just looks alive and just uh, really just soft and hydrated. I love this stuff. And that mister is great. I love this for when I'm feeling extra powdery. Just so awesome. It's also alcohol free, which is very hard to find in a setting spray or a finishing spray. Usually you need alcohol for the dry down time, but this still, it's fast drying, but it still leaves a layer of moisture on your skin, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's so lightweight. I love the sprayer on this. It's fragrance free, I think. It is. It's fragrance and essential oil free. There's also glycerin in here, which is an awesome skin identical ingredient, and sodium hyaluronate. We know that's an awesome humectant, aloe leaf juice. So oh, some really good things in here. It really does make your makeup last. It seals in the moisture. Love this. But yeah, I've been using this a ton. I have I feel like, I don't know, this might be half full by now. I think I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. But the mister on here is just so light, which I think is my almost favorite part of it. And Again, I love that it's alcohol free. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below the products that you've been flying through. What products, what skincare products can you not purchase fast enough? I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys always give the best recommendations. Love hearing from you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.